Hey, hi there, this is Betty from Mental Health Association in New Jersey, and welcome to Mental Health Mondays. Today I'm here at the gym, um, and this is something that I do to maintain my mental health. So I make time for this every day, because it's important. Um, and exercise is a key component of keeping your mental health um, in, at the optimum level that you'd want. Um, I know that when I exercise, it helps to relieve stress, um, apart from losing weight, there's so many other benefits, and one of them is reducing stress, um, increasing the oxygen flow through your body. Um, exercise helps you to focus and think more clearly for your day. Um, and after I exercise, I just feel overall I'm ready to face my day. Hey, part of managing your mental health also includes social connections, staying connected to people and places that really kind of help you not to stay so isolated. So on a day like this, like on a good Sunday, I like to stay connected with family and friends. So I'll stop by and visit um, my sisters or my friends, and we'll just kind of hang out together just to make sure that I don't have to stay isolated. And it winds up just kind of helping me have a even nicer day. So what do you do? Do you connect with anybody? Is there anybody that you could just call up, um, just kind of hang out with? maybe have some coffee or tea but I don't know I just like hanging out with my sister so let's see what happens today so I think it's gonna be a really good time hey, hey sis, how are you hey how are you this is I'm my sister good. And you made it out to see me yes I did mm -hmm. Thanks but for I know you're me. not here to see me you're here to see your nieces mm -hmm. but it's okay I'm, I'm okay with it. Anyway, but what do you do for your mental health? So I'm going to go inside and have some lunch, all right? Talk to you later. Even on a nice day like today, I love coming outside and taking a walk. I've just been in the office all morning long and just being out here, just enjoying some of the sunshine. It feels good. Fresh air, listening to the birds chirp. It just feels good. I feel like my mood is already elevated. I feel a little, little bit more focused and energized to go back in and get some work done, right? So maybe you're not, you're not at work. Maybe you're home. Right? What are some things that you can do with nature? Your studies show that nature and being outdoors really does improve and boost um, your overall energy um, and boost your focus. So what are some other things you can do outside? Right? Like I, I like outdoor activities like such as yoga. Mm -hmm. Yoga is good to do outside. Bike riding. Bike if, you like exercising. if you like exercising, that's a great thing to do. Know that those who suffer from mental health conditions, oftentimes isolation is what um, you may feel more comfortable being by yourself, but we want to encourage you that not, not stay isolated. There's also you know? opportunities for you to maybe volunteer in your community. I know when I volunteer, it helps me to feel so much, I feel good about myself, and I feel good because I'm helping somebody else. I know volunteermatch.org, maybe you could check that out and see if there's any um, opportunities for you there, or maybe even some act sport activities. activities. Such as in the, in the local community, you can go to the baseball, the baseball uh, league always, always move on. Yeah. Uh, get the snack stand or help out with the kids or just giving out snacks or whatever the case may be. Or maybe even helping out at the local um, daycare or the children's facility if you do have the time. Maybe you're home, you're disabled, um, you're not able to work, but maybe you could do some activities around your community to support your community. And that's just a positive thing to do, right? It kind of keeps you from that internal dialogue. You may be feeling low self-esteem or discouraged, but helping somebody else and building your community. And maybe if you're by yourself, that meetup. The meetup. Meetup.com is a great resource as well. So maybe you could check that out. Um, maybe taking a local class at your at the local school in your community. Maybe you enjoy acting. Maybe a songwriting class. Or DYI classes at the local library. Class. Yeah, those are really good. Like candle making classes. It maybe might take some lotion. Oh, I love lotion. But you know, it might take a little legwork on your part. But I think what we're talking about it, is ways right? that we can improve our mental well-being and ways that we could prevent mental illness and feel better about yourself and feel good yeah yeah so me and marilyn are going to continue our walk so we hope that you'll join us somewhere soon all right thanks